audio jump. Welcome to another edition of Sunwalk Entertainment News on Sunwalk TV. You know we're bringing you the trending and the juicy news and the entertainment world. It's still your girl, Nana Ama. You can catch us on our social media handles, that is Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. You can also catch us on YouTube or log on to our website, www.sunwalk.org. Now for our bulletin today, we have Tiwa Savage goes back to her ex-husband, T-Bills. Sakodia pulls out his hat in latest tweet. I am engaged and this comes from Kelvin Boy. The video drops new jam which is Mwah Baby. Ibra comes out again with another issue. The band dedicates his new track to wife. I am still learning and this is coming from our very own Ahuanfe Pachui. After fake love, it was a big turnover for me. This is also from Duncan Mighty. And then we have Kwame Eugene, Kiji and DJ Vyroski to perform at Maya Kent's concert at Nigeria. Now this and many more news we have coming your way. We'll be going for a quick commercial break. Stay tuned. Who is your best parent in the world? Mommy! Frosty Bite Ice Cream for the love of ice cream. A world camp back from that quick commercial break. It's still Sunwork Entertainment News on Sunwork TV. Moving on to our next our fact story, we have Tiwa Savage goes back to her ex husband. Now, we all know about what's been going on between Tiwa Savage and her ex husband, T Bills. There's been rumors, there's been criticisms. We, we've been seeing things on social media the suspense, the, the, the emotions, you know, it's all up and down. And, and finally, there's this um, rumor going about about Tiwa Savage and T Bills coming back together. Now, new report in town has it that Tiwa Savage and her estranged husband T um, T Bills are back together. We do not officially know, but from the look of things, it looks like they are back together. The first job the hint last month was their son Jam Jam what celebrated his um, birthday. That is his three year birthday. They took to their social media handles to celebrate parenthood and also Tiwa Savage came up with her experience at labor work during the birth of their son Jamil. Now also Mr. Bills did something and that is very uncommon. He took to in his Instagram post to um, promote um, Tiwa Savage's track that is Lova Lova that came out um, that she just featured and Duncan Mighty on and it was it was it was such an amazing sight to see ex husband um, promoting his ex wife music. You know it's it's very uncommon. I mean it's very rare. But then T Bills did this and people are saying that uh, this looked like they are gonna come back together. Do you think they are gonna come back together? get interactive with us tell us what you think share your ideas on our social media handles and suddenly um suddenly t bills dropped a cryptic message on instagram and t was savage dropped a response now two face two face edibia our own two baba also also joined the chat and it was a very nice thing to see the three of them having uh some exchange on social media and this is what people are saying that well it looks like t bills and Tiwa Savage are back together. Well, we do want them to come back together because we love this too, okay? We love them. We love T-Bill. We love our own Doro Diva. So yes, we look forward to seeing you guys back together, Tiwa Savage and T-Bills. 
Moving on to our next story, we have Sakuji pulls out his hat in latest tweet. Our own rap king, rap king con Kenny Sag, aka Saxis Music, um, the award winning um, rapper Sakuji has taken to his Twitter page to share his sentiment on his recent happenings after his marriage we know Sakodia um, and Tracy had a very nice union recently and yet yeah, it was such a sight to see the wedding was massive their traditional wedding too was massive they had great fun and there were lots of celebrities there now um according to the baby hit maker um, some people are not willing to help others and they always want to be superior to others he added that human beings are unpredictable one should be humble because the people you see them as inferior today might be the ones to help you in dying times however the message was an open one and it was not directed to anybody in particular but it looked like the rapper was hurt by a close relative or a close friend so he tweeted it's kind of scary that we have no idea that that could um we had no idea what could happen in the next second and just that should be able to humble us this the the so-called not my level type person might be the one to save your life now this is coming from our own working according to him the one who you think is inferior the one who you do not pay attention to the one who you actually snap all the time might be the one to save your life one day so just be humble and connect with everybody around you and i think this is a very good thing to say you know this it's interactive like with it goes around in our daily life so we say thumbs up to you Sakodi. you've been encouraging us you've been educating us and this is another massive one that we are grateful and thankful for it's always can success okay we know what he's capable of doing and he's at it again now we are still in ghana i am engaged this is coming from our own kelvin boy now, Ghanaian Afro pop musician Kelvin Brown, who we all know as Kelvin Boy, has made it clear that he has tied the knot. Now, he made the revelation in an interview with Ohima Weije on Adom FM's Adom FM's um, Work and Happiness on Wednesday. Um, Elia, the musician who has been labeled as Stone Boy's protege, allegedly cautioned some Ghanaian girls to leave him alone to focus on his career. When Ohima Weija asked he, if he has a girlfriend, Kelvin Boy simply said he is married to music. According to him, he is focused on putting Ghana on the map through music. Hence, being in a relationship will focus, will shift his focus. I can't remember making that statement, but I saw it in an article. No one is bothering me though, and I am not dating, but I am married to music, so I am engaged. Kelvin Boy, however, urged his fans to uh, to expect his songs earlier than expected. So according to Kelvin Boy, he doesn't want any lady issues, you know. He doesn't want to have issues with girls. For now, he is busily concentrating on his music career. And we know Kelvin Boy has been bringing us all the bangers. One of his songs is Now You Did it For Mine. Yeah, that one he did with um, Stone Boy. It's, it was just a massive thing. I loved that track so much. And Kelvin Boy how can you tell us to stay away from you when you know you are so handsome you know the guy is cute yes the guy is cute and you know everybody wants something that is good everybody wants to stay around something that is nice and kelvin boy you are cute so how can you tell the ladies to stay away from you so anyways ladies that is what kelvin boy is saying he is asking all ladies to stay away from him because he wants to concentrate on his music career no temptation but well um maybe i might be the one to go myself for kelvin boy so kelvin boy watch out for me i'm coming straight to you now we're going to nigeria davido draws this new jam which is what baby now davido um davido's one baby was produced by fresh and as promised you know davido is always dropping at hits 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 day in day out every time he's dropping hits you can never hear davido's song and just sit down it never happens anywhere. 
immediately you hear the video song it makes you want to get on your feet and shake your body you know what i'm talking about moving your body dancing to the rhythm of the song now this song that does, does not go with a normal shaku shaku vibe it has a pom pom vibe like the video struggles always and you know the dmw boss never feels that now before this track came out the video started promoting it on, on his social media handles giving us teasers and all that and yes the song is out and we are already enjoying it if you have not listened to my baby uh you have to listen to it right now because it's just one dope tune so you can go listen to my baby and then join the ride as we boogie and we shake our bodies to this mad tune coming from the video now um you know, it's, it's, you can also get this song on injumfie.com if you can't find it anywhere. Go to injumfie.com or ghanasongs.org. Um, Ghana You're going to find this music and just enjoy it without showing our vibes. Still in Ghana, we have Ibra comes up with another issue. What's up with these people? They have money and yet they are custom friends on the internet. Well, one of Ghana's social media young man, um, Ibra One, who is noted for flaunting his luxuries on social media, has resurfaced and this time around he throws jabs at men's gold CEO Nana Apia Mensa. And when Ibra One surfaces the internet like this, we know he's just bringing trouble. We know it's all trouble, trouble, and trouble. It can be recalled how few months ago um, that Ibra One threatened to mention the names of the top personalities in Ghana that were into money laundering. But in a, in a later interview with Joey Palm, he disclosed that all the tantrums were just for publicity stands. Can you just imagine? Well, and even blamed bloggers for not differentiate for not being able to differentiate between jokes and serious issues. This is for real. Like he is actually um, blaming bloggers for not being able to differentiate between um, um, real issues and then jokes go well, this is what Ibra wants said now we don't know whether this one is also another public publicity stunt or is a true thing well Nana Apia is back again this time and he mocks CEO of men's gold Nana Apia Mesa over his brouhaha with Bank of Ghana and the Bank of Ghana today issued um, a stand warning to men's gold for accepting deposits while it is not licensed to do so the central bank advised the public to stop dealing with the company in series of instagram posts ibra one lambasted nana apia mesa as he branded men's gold boss at legit he added that he can fool the whole ghana but not him it appears that ibra one knows a lot about nana apia than we do he proceeded by sharing that he would make a statement on nana apia mesa at the appropriate time so according to ibra one he has a lot of things to tell us about nana apia and that nana cannot fool him he can fool all ghanians but not him ibra one and then at the appropriate time he will come out with the real thing he has to say well we hope this is not another publicity stunt from um, Ibra One because it wouldn't be easy. Ghanaians wouldn't take it easy on Ibra One if this is another publicity stunt. Now, we're going straight to Nigeria. D Bunch dedicates new track to wife. Now, a Nigerian pop star D Bunch who just lost his uh, his one and only son Daniel the third um, in, in in May in June 2018 has just released a song dedicated to his wife and um, this is the wife's name is Linio Didi now the song is titled letter to my wife and it talks about how they went through their struggles what they went through to be able to come out as strong as they are now we know the band we know what you're capable of doing we know you are a strong man and we admire that you and your wife has pulled yourself through all the drama and all the sorrow and all this pain thumbs up to you the band and this is indeed a romantic thing that you have done well men you have to actually learn from the band because if you can't do this this thing is too romantic it's so romantic and yeah we love the band for that i am still learning and this is coming from our very own ahonfe patrina actress patricia opogo ajiman who we all know as who we all know as Ahmofi Patri says she is still learning and needs more time to better her skills.
speaking in an interview with Joy News, the boys Casa Queen says she has only been involved actively in the movie industry for less than a decade and says she is currently doing her best to sharpen and enhance her skills. Now she is saying, I am still learning. I always find new ways to learn. It's only been five years and counting, and I have worked with so many people, she added. Now, she is still aware that not everyone is okay with what she has been doing. People have been criticizing her works and all that, and she says, not everyone will like what you do. I'm still learning. If you didn't like what I did in the previous movies, trust me, you are going to like the recent ones, she added. So, yeah, we can't wait to see what Amon is, is, is has up on her sleeves. We can't wait to watch the new movies. We can't wait to see her on the TV with new stuff and new another edition of Amon Fepachui. As she is telling us, Amon Fepachui is currently embarking on a campaign to empower young female students against sexual abuse. The government, the campaign is part of activities by She Power Africa, a non-governmental organization founded by Ahonfe Patrick to promote gender equality and also end sexual violence against women and children. It is in collaboration with Lokhanda. Now, the actress, together with her team, started the campaign with female students of Gomwa Donpase DA Model Basic School in the Central Region. Now, we have more news coming your way. Stay tuned. Let's go for a commercial break. Hello, my name is Amata Maklo, CEO of Food 101. Food is very essential to every human life. At Food 101, we provide you with healthy, delicious meals. We cook for corporate bodies, individuals, events, parties, corporate organizations. To receive our menu daily, text add me to 020-817-5025. You receive our menu for the day that consists of about 12 different dishes. Text back your preferred dish and it will be delivered to you at your doorstep, at your office, at your home, anywhere you are at no extra fee. Food 101, we are your healthy food partner. Welcome back from that commercial break. Going straight to our news again, we have After Faith Love was a big turnover for me. And this is coming from Port Harcourt's one and only firstborn, um, Duncan Mighty. On the set of the video shoot for his recent collaboration with Tiwa Savage, singer and songwriter Duncan Mighty spoke to the next one. Omio Nahwale, I don't know if I got it right, Juan, Juan Omio Nahwale, about the recent collaborations that has been going on massive old plays across, across the globe. On his hit song, Fake Love with Whiskey, he said, I just want to say a big thank you to Starboy Whiskey because after Fake Love, it was a big turn around. Um, big shout out to my brother, my black star boy, Whiskey. On his, um, on his, um, on social media comments about Whiskey resurrecting his career after their collaboration, Duncan Mighty said, "Before now, I like before now, like I said, shout out to Star Boy. It all started from Fake Love." And I am grateful to Star Starboy. I am grateful to Whiskey. On his new song, Lover Lover, also, Duncan said, This collaboration is the best collaboration after I had fake love with Whiskey. I've had several collaborations after fake love, but this is super duper. I'm so proud of it. Tiwa gave the best of the best in it. It's a big song and I want to say a big thank you to Tiwa. Tiwa deserves billions of accolades. Yes, Tiwa deserves billions of accolades and this is coming from Duncan Mighty. You know, Tiwa has been so massive. We know the Dora Diva, what she's capable of doing and she did another massive one on this Lover Lover track. Do well to go and listen to it and watch the video because it's such a massive tune to listen to. And finally, we have 
Grammy Eugene Kiddy and DJ Vyboski to perform at Maya Ken's concert, which will be held at Nigeria. Now, Lane's entertainment signees, Kwame Eugene Kiddy and DJ Vyboski, have been announced by Davido's Music Worldwide among performers um, for Afro pop star Maya Ken's concert in Abuja, scheduled for the 11th of August 2018. The event will see other performances from his label mates like Peruzi, Ido West, Ichab, Ichaba, and Yonda. We have Dremo, Scales, Dice Alice, Lux, and Leo Cash. Um, Mariken has established a major with, um, friendship with Link's Entertainment signings after featuring in, in the remix of Kiddy's song Odor. You know that track? Yes. And the recently DJ Viroski's new track that is Never They Come Last. Now, fresh from winning the their Fresh from winning the next rated award, we know they have won a lot of awards. Some awards are um, um, Best African Acts Awards, we have Ghana Music Awards UK, Four Sites Music Video Awards, and other Afro Pop Star a lot of um, awards and you know it goes on and on if you are good in the game you deserve a lot of awards and that is what is going on now the concert will be held at um, will be hosted at, at mtv based by mtv based presenter dada boy Hayes, and music done by dj baby boy and dj consequences so this is what's going to happen in nigeria at moyo Ken's, um concert which is going to come on on the 11th of august 2018 sure be sure to be there if you're in nigeria you have a chance of being there now if you're in ghana and you want to go you know how to do it let's go support our home let's go have fun at moyo Ken's concert we will have a recap of our news uh, we have Tiwa Savage goes back to her ex-husband T Bills. Sakodia pulls out his hat in latest tweet. I am engaged, and this is coming from Kelvin Boy. The video drops a new jam that is not baby. Ibra comes up with another issue. The branch dedicates his song to wife. I am still learning, and this is coming from our very own Ahuan Fet Pachiri. After fake love, it was a big turnover, and it's coming from Port Harcourt's one and only firstborn, Duncan Mighty. And we have Kwame Eugene and Kidi, as well as DJ Vyoski, to perform at Mario King's concert at Nigeria. Now, this is where we draw our curtains down from today's news. It's still your girl, Nanama. Be sure to get interactive and trendy with us on our social media handles. We, that is Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. You can also catch us on YouTube and also log on to our website, www.samrock.org. Bye.